Year 2009 delighted the tech-savvy generation with iPhones and flip camcorders, which sold by millions. With the announcement of Apple Tablet, many of us are already looking into the next big thing in 2010 that could be greeted with open arms and open wallets. Here are 2010 soon-to-be hot gadgets. Announcement of Project Natal by Microsoft has generated much hype amongst gamers, even though the product will hit the shelves far into 2010. Giving tough competition to Nintendo, the new Xbox 360 controller gains advantage over Y when it comes to additional features such as motion tracking and voice and facial recognition. However, Project Natal won't be the only must-have gaming controller next Christmas, for you have Sony's Arc Motion Controller in the PlayStation 3 world, which also stands a solid chance of stirring just as much buzz. It will certainly stoke up the forum firefights between the PS3 and the Xbox fanboys. Sesame is the first service that fulfills your dream for an online TV so that you do not miss on your favorite shows. Sesame uses a set-top box to stream video from the web in your PC, besides catching over the air local broadcast TV via a supplied in-home antenna. Each family member also has their own button on the remote control which takes them to their personal Sesame channel, complete with on-demand shows tailored to their personal tastes. Currently on trial in the Los Angeles market, Sesame is expected to go nationwide later this year. Gone are the days when serious gamers had to tote around carrying huge 17 and 15 inch monsters or stay put. Dell's portable Alienware is practically a netbook size 11.6 inch laptop with high definition screen, a built in webcam, and a SIM card reader for mobile web access, which can play games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at a whooping 30 frames per second and costing just under $1,000, fully loaded M11X is sure to make waves. Motorola's latest Android-powered phone, the Backflip, is all set to become the messaging phone this year. Backflip has some interesting features like a flappable QWERTY keyboard, backtrack of the touchpad, and a mid-sized processor. In case Backflip reaches a $100 subsidized price point by the end of 2010, as is speculated by gadget experts, then there is every reason to grab one for yourself. While the new Nexus One is probably the best Android phone available today, its association with Google is bound to make it sell like hotcakes in the market. Slimmer than the iPhone, Nexus One has a slightly bigger and more high-resolution OLED screen as well as a noticeably faster 1GHz Snapdragon processor, among other things like Google Voice support. At the very least, the Nexus One represents a truly viable alternative for iPhone users, especially after the Verizon wireless network begins supporting the Google phone later this year. One favorite Cupertino company is sure to have a huge hit with its tablet, the iPad, when it is released this year. Just as we thought the new device looks like an iPhone on steroids, there is a lot the iPad can do. People can use it for email, games, video and reading. It's time to forget tablets, for Lenovo has introduced a new hybrid notebook. The IdeaPad U1 is a 3.8-pound laptop that runs Windows 7 and has a 128GB solid-state drive. And if you pull off the 11.6-inch screen, you get a Linux running multi-touch tablet PC with 16GB of flash memory. That's right, not only is it a laptop and a tablet, but it also runs both Windows and Linux. When consumers try and decide between a laptop and a tablet this year, the hybrid Lenovo IdeaPad U1 might well settle the argument by providing both. It's priced at just under $1,000. It hasn't even been a year since the iPhone 3GS and people are already looking towards the next iPhone, which some speculate may be called the iPhone 4G. The iPhone 3GS offered only incremental changes to the iPhone 3G's hardware and looked exactly the same. Rumors suggest that the iPhone 4G will be available as early as May or June and may have a new design, a faster processor, a 5-megapixel camera and an OLED screen features that would rival those on Google's Nexus One. 
With all sorts of rumors agog, it is believed that this will force Apple to upgrade its iPhone even more drastically and sooner in order to stay competitive in a quickly changing market.